Okay, here we are back again with more Dragon Age 2. We're in the middle of Mark of the Assassin DLC, and uh, we're at the stupid party. And uh, there is... As I uh, suspected, there is one more Caprice coin that I need to find in order to finish that stupid side quest. And uh, I couldn't remember where to find it, but I so I, I cheated and I looked it up. Uh, and of course, it's it's right it's right here. Hawk, do you even know why you're picking these coins up? They're shiny. Don't pretend you wouldn't do it too. Yeah, Hawk is like a magpie, you know? She has to grab all these coins. Like, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? So, is that it? That's the whole game? I'd like to thank all the little people who made this moment possible. Let's just get going. Yeah, there was five. Look, look. It, it's been a long time dream of Hawks to to play this to play the high society wishing well game and now she has it's a story she can tell her grandchildren if she ever has grandchildren she'll probably never have grandchildren that's probably not gonna ever happen but you know theoretically she could anyway I just I I hate living I hate leaving quests unfinished in my in my quest journal, and uh, I know the moment moment we walk into this manor house, uh, uh, that quest is going to be uncompletable. So, uh, we're uh, we're working from there. Also, I've leveled up apparently, but I can't actually access my character. I can't actually access that to to oh well, whatever whatever. So that should do it. Nice, nice. All right, let's go. What in the name? There's no need for you to die today, friend. Just move on. You never saw us. <laughs> oh gosh. You could have walked away. Well, I mean, he was just doing his job. Of course he didn't walk away. That'd be a bad trait in a guard. I know that. It's not like his family can say, we thought he only had to bake cookies. There are other paths. They so do not all need to lead to the same destination. Enough. We're here for the heart. I'd like to do this quietly. Alert as few guards as possible. What do you think? Sure? Don't relish the thought of two dozen guards chasing me around the chateau. Quiet. The I mean, I could probably kill them all I'm pretty easily, agree. but let's go. Whatever. This part of the chateau will be crawling with guards. Great. We'll have to try our best to keep out of sight. Or we could try to create distractions, provided you're good at throwing stones. Uh huh. And if all else fails, we'll give them a sharp knock on the head. Right, of course. Just try not to do it all the time. So now we get to be stealthy. All right. I'm ready when you are. Try not to be seen. Awesome. I still can't level up. I just have to. <sighs> sure. Okay. This is the stealthy part. Yeah. D distract draws a guard's attention to a specific area. Use it now to move the guard to the other side of the room. Um How do I Oh, I see. The, that that's a uh Did I do that wrong? It's been a really long time since I've done this. Oh my god. I want to get that- I want to get that- Are you trying to get caught on purpose? 
No, I'm not. I'm... I'm trying to figure out what the... <sighs> Fine. All right. Hiding in shadows. Did you hear about the Duke's meeting with the Empress? I never listen to court gossip. That'll get you killed, my friend. Probably. In, in Orle, it definitely would. Like, totally correct about that. Hang on. Can't speak now. I have too much to do preparing the banquet and Leopold's dinner. You don't want to see a with and go hungry. Oh god. If you need something, ask one of the servants. Well, why are you still bothering me? You're needed in the garden? There's a problem in the courtyard. Something about a poisoned comtesse. The servants were looking for you. A maker's breath. What have those useless elves done now? I suppose I'd better deal with this. Okay. That's good. Chef's log. An interesting entry the cook in the Kirk's journal that might help with contaminating Leopold's food. Tried a new seasoning for the crepes this morning. A bunch of lutefisk, a few slices ooh, lutefisk. A few slices of old cheese and a lot of navet gave the duke the runs all day. Note to self, not so much navet next time. That sounds disgusting. So, lots of Navit? Yeah, it says a lot of Navit. I don't know what a lot means. I guess a lot. Um, let's try it. Okay. Ah, here's Leopold's food. Okay. I think Leopold's going to be an unhappy wyvern after that. I sure hope so. I sure hope so. All right. Incapacitate, knocks the guard out. All right, let's do it. There we go. And we have a key. Helpful. Hard in Hightown 2. Hard in Hightown 2. Even harder. Barrett will want to know about this. Yes, indeed. Indeed he will. chapter of a book called Hard and Hightown 2 has been found. It's an unauthorized sequel to one of Eric's stories. Find and destroy this work. Keeping me off patrol. Right. All right, I'm gonna save often because I kind of suck at this part of the game generally Like I'm not good at stealth. This is why I usually don't play rogues because I'm just not good at stealth. I Know I missed a codex entry back there too because What was that scrabbling noise? I'm just gonna knock him out screw you dude Uh, 
Um. Didn't see anything. Bugger Prosper's vault if someone got past. Is someone there? Oh, for God's sake. Trying to remember how to do this, how best to do this. Too cold. Oh, of course. It's either too hot or too cold. Or a bed's either too soft or too lumpy. <laughs> Nothing is ever just right with her. What a bitch. <laughs> what a bitch indeed. Be quick, but careful. I know, I know. Uncertainty. In uncertainty, find infinite possibility, an old Orlesian saying. Well, that's... that's very thoughtful. Okay, a locked door. Sorry, I didn't know there was a guy coming. What was that scrabbling noise? Try not to be seen. I'm trying not to be seen. There's the balcony. In this armor, a man's gonna pass out. That's my bloody story. <laughs> Maybe they won't notice me if the door's shut. Oh, god damn it. But then, of course, I cannot see. Because there's no tactical camera in this game. Uh, there's a guy. I don't know if he's... Oh shit. What's uh stop? You're making this more difficult than it has to be. No, I'm not. Shut up, Felicia Day. <laughs> Just shut up. I love how they don't seem to notice the wide open door that's right there. I don't know where the other guy is. There's at least two of them. Okay. Okay. We did it. I think. You didn't try the cheese, did you? Are you joking? It tastes of despair. I'm not a madman. <laughs> All set. You drop the pie. 
I'm sorry, monsieur. It's all squashed while the hound took a bite of it. It's really not that bad. Just put it back on the plate and cover it up with some gravy. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, what a pain in my butt. I forgot what a pain this is, sneaking around the chateau. Quickly, over here. It's not, like, it's not super entertaining, to be honest. It's mostly just annoying. An amulet. Why did the Duke get this? This was part of a fog warrior's amulet. Fenris has mentioned them. I never thought I'd see one. Well, I guess I'll have to figure that out, too. Because that's really what I need, is more things to try to find in this place while I'm trying to sneak around and not be noticed by guards. Sure, that makes perfect sense. Lady Amandine Duval. Lady Amandine Duval arrived at the court of Emperor Quarantine, aged only 15, and by all accounts took it by storm. Her bright gold hair, expressive eyes, and graceful mannerisms endeared her to all. The Emperor's sister, Lady Charlotte, wrote, Little Amandine is a true delight. Such sparkling wit, and oh, those dainty feet flitting across the ballroom. She is spring come upon our tired court. This adoration did not last long, however. Not a year after her arrival, little Amandine became enchanted with a bard who taught her swordplay, amongst other things. Being young and nimble, Amandine took to blades like a fish to water. Seduced by the life of romance and high adventure, she ran away from court, dressed as a boy. In the years that followed, Amandine became a sailor, a highway robber, and a courtesan. Once, she was betrothed to the emperor's cousin. At the age of 44, Amandine entered into a cloister. She remained there till the end of her life and died a penitent. From the Gallery of Knaves, a portrait book compiled by Lady Wilhelmina Bonchance. That sounds amazing. I want a life like that. Not sure why my game is being super jerky right now. Portrait of the Dowager. The Orlesians have a saying, you must dance with the Dowager if you want to play the game. To a foreigner, this might sound like some sort of proverb. In fact, Dowager Lady Mantillon has been one of the most influential members of the Imperial Court for over 30 years, and nobody advances in the game without her favor. The rumors surrounding her are many. She was Emperor Florian's mistress. She was Florian's assassin. She placed Empress Selene on the throne. She once killed a rival with only harsh words. She rules Orlais from the shadows. One thing is certain, however, if you must have the best society in Orlais, ask a dance of the Dowager. From A Guide to Good Society by Lady Alcyon. Alright. Pride and Rider. An image in oil of the last pure Anderfell stabled at court, before the practice of mounted sport fell from favor. This is an absolutely iconic and typical example of the artist. The work preserves the true majesty of a species that, while in abundance on their natural plains, becomes exotic to a people who eschew mounted travel in their daily existence. An ambitious work often referred to as Pride and Rider, it is part of a series of similarly themed canvases which, for reasons known only to the creator, were labeled And Went the Griffin. Auction notes for the works of Bougette Pochvide? Poj a catalogue of the foreign and lost dispensed by the holding house of Therin of Therain and whatnot. <laughs> okay. I think that's all of him here. Uh, some interesting, interesting informa information. I'm debating uh, once I get to Inquisition on whether it might not be best uh, simply to uh, Oh, I think I have to go that way. Uh, simply to read codex entries as I pick them up, as opposed to like, st st uh, like doing 
saving them all up and doing a, a big, uh, like, big, just whole episodes of just reading codex entries. Um, if folks have thoughts on that. It's really hard to do this. It's it stinks too because it's not like I can just turn down the difficulty on this. Like it's always just ridiculously tough. Like I don't even know. What was that scrubbing? I might just have to knock this guy on, on the head. Yeah, see that? Uh, see, it distracted that other guy, not this guy. It's like, I don't even know what to do now. Knock this other guy on the head, I guess. Didn't see anything. Bugger pressed his vote if someone got past. Alright. Is someone there? All right, this guy, I just have to whack. And whack and nab. Oh shit. Hold me right there. Ah, for God's sake. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. <sighs> oh, my head. What was that about? I'm not making this more difficult. It is already difficult. It's a serious pain in my ass is what it is. I must be hearing things. Not at all, I suppose. Hit the floor hard enough. That should do it. Why not to be seen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm probably missing a lot of stuff. Just, yeah, just on the... Just because I want to get this done. I, I'm actually, like, kind of annoyed by this stealth section, to be perfectly honest. I would almost rather have just fought all those guards. Like, I could have killed those guards easily. But no. Talus wanted me to sneak. It's never as easy as it seems, is it? I swear I didn't know. There must be some sort of switch. All right, so T Hawk and Talus must activate the floor switches in this room simultaneously to progress. So. <sighs> Can I finally level up? Wow. That's that's good. All right, now I should probably actually do this. Okay. Let's topple the statue. Nice kick there, I guess. Yeah, sure. And you too, I guess. All right, awesome. Let's go. Christ's sake.
Can we not? I don't know how this one works. Please stand where I... Please stand on the thing. Okay. Oh, wait. I see. Wait a second. Alright, whatever. I'm confused. I don't care. Let's just go. Normally I would try to be more thorough about this, but... Something wrong. I just don't like the stealth part of this. Know. Yes. Oh, don't fret, dear. My dear. Well, here we go. The party's moved indoors. It's not over yet. But it is over. I knew who you were the moment you arrived. Assassin. Assassin? I knew it. I mean, yeah. You did? Obviously. Have you met my friends? All of them are crazy, and most of them are killers. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. Clever girl. I was not, like... Have you also deduced that your elven friend is Kunari? Uh, what? You're... Kunari? It's complicated. Well, then this is not my fight. I'm not Kunari. But this has nothing to do with me, then. Yes, you were only here to rob me. Much better. Uh, yeah, Look, I mean, yeah. I came to stop the heart <laughs> from doing something we will all regret. She didn't. Leave her out of this. And waste all the effort I spent luring you here before the heart's arrival? Don't be foolish. Asse hasatra mas. Mas avas trasukulun. Take them away. Great. Okay. So what, we're in prison now? At least he didn't kill me. I mean, I probably could have killed him and his guards without much trouble. The elf was Kunari. And the dwarf has no beard. <laughs> I know, it made no sense to me either. Maybe they cut her horns off. The Kunari are not a race. They are a religion. What I don't understand is why a Kunari agent would try to kill one of her own people. And why involve the champion? Excellent questions. I expect answers to match. I live to please. Okay. So, at least we're not dead. Yeah. And we have time for explanations. I don't suppose an apology would make things better? Make it good. Is this the sort that comes with fabulous riches? Are we talking about make-believe fabulous riches? Don't be ridiculous. Then no. You're really mm. terrible at this. Yeah, pretty much. I am sorry. This didn't work out like I'd planned. Obviously. What was your plan, exactly? The one uh, I expected to find is named Salit, a member of the Ben Hasrath, the heart of the many. I was told he's here to sell secrets to the Orlesians, and I came to stop him. I... Suppose I was misinformed. Okay, so... Oh boy. So, okay, Kunari secrets. So you came here to stop this Salit from betraying your people? You probably won't believe me, but this isn't a political mission. It's... personal. Personal? What do you mean? Salit was my best Vrathari, the one who recruited me into the Ben Hasrith. My tutor. He's the one who saw my potential, convinced me that I could make a difference. It doesn't matter now. But you said he was selling secrets. He is. Or at least he intends to. One last act of defiance. I can't let him do that. Not when he'll hurt so many others in the process. What others? You mean he'll hurt other Kunari? Not every Kunari is a soldier, you know. There are tens of thousands of farmers, artisans, craftsmen. People who have never hurt anyone. People whose only crime is living. 
They don't deserve what he's going to do to them. But it's more than my duty to stop Salit. It is my moral obligation. Okay. So, Heart of the Many, what are you talking you about? You the Heart of the Many before, but you said it was the name of the jewel. It's also what Ben Hasrith means. Some people say we're enforcers that keep the Kunari in line, but that's not it. It's hard to explain. Try. We're the soul of the Kuhn. We keep its spirit alive and protect it from both outside and from within. Not every Kunari agrees, nor do they always do what is best for all. The Ben Hasrith remind us of our common goal. Uh, well, when you put it like that, it doesn't sound so bad. You make them seem almost peaceful. It's not always meant to end in violence. There are other paths. They do not all need to lead to the same destination. I probably don't sound very convincing. So you are Ben Hasrath. The way you're talking, it sounds like you're one of these Ben Hasrath. I am, or I was. Whether I ever am again, I guess that remains to be seen. Is that why you're here? To redeem yourself? Not to them. Doubt is the path one walks to reach faith. To leave the path is to embrace blindness and abandon hope. Another Kunari proverb? She who swallows wisdom in tiny chunks avoids choking. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair. Uh, so who are you really? So everything you told me was a lie. Not everything. So I just missed the part where you're one of the people I drove out of Kirkwall. You don't need horns to embrace the Kuhn. What you need is a purpose, a belief in unity, in improving the lot, not only for your own people, but for everyone. So they're helping. You're right. I can think of many people who would be improved by the loss of a head. You're joking, but you're also right. That doesn't mean it's the solution for everyone. So everyone else just loses a foot? Maybe a big toe? Being Kunari doesn't automatically mean you're a zealot. Most Kunari don't even understand humans, why you act like you do. But I grew up among you. I understand perfectly well. But you're an assassin. Wait, aren't you here to kill someone for the Kunari? I never said I was killing him for the Kunari. So you're improving his lot, perhaps repeatedly? I know it's not easy to understand. After what the air shock did, I hardly blame you. But just tell me, can you honestly say there's nothing to improve, nothing to strive for? We believe in striving together. We may stumble, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't try. Um... Yeah, again, it's like, she says it really nicely, but there's some, there's still some issues there. I'm not arguing But about yeah, it. I don't think Hawk is it's who I am. giving I a shit. I joined the Ben because I felt it meant something. M means something. So you're doubtful? You sound like you're trying to convince yourself. It's been a long time since I talked to anyone about it. I suppose it's not really a prison cell conversation. So why me? Why did you come to me? Why, like, of all people, <laughs> why would you come to Hawk, of all people, to help you with this? Seriously. So did you really involve me just because I had an invitation? You were the only one on the invitation list who wasn't a personal friend of the Montfort family. And you're also the champion of Kirkwall, and a Ferelden with no reason to love Orlay. And then what? And what was going to happen when all this was over? I thank you, we go our separate ways. Really? I wouldn't notice a thing? Truth? You're not exactly what I was expecting. You literally thought you could dupe the I've champion of Kirkwall. i about you. They don't quite do you justice. Well, I'm flattered, but... Perhaps if I'd done my homework, I would have known more about you. Giving you the respect you deserve. Nothing I could do about it now. Fun times. Great. So that's awesome. So what I feel like is happening here is like 
Hawk, Hawk doesn't give a shit about the politics of all of this. Like, she gives a shit about individual people. She doesn't care about, like, systems or institutions in that sense. Like, she's, she, she, like, she could care less. So, if she's on Talus's side, it's not because she suddenly has decided she likes the cu- the Kuhn, or that she's in favor of the Kunari in general. She just likes Talus and wants to help Talus and thinks that Talus is potentially doing a good thing. She doesn't really care about, like, bigger picture stuff. I- that's sort of how I kind of play things with Hawk. How I try to play her through most of the game, as much of the game as I can. Because I feel like that is what's going on here. Is that Hawk cares more about individual people than she does about the the political stuff. Um, so, like, she doesn't, like, whatever Talus' personal beliefs uh, and personal politics, she doesn't really care. If she thinks Talus is what Talus is doing is sympathetic. She will... She just doesn't like being lied to, really. She doesn't like being lied to. Honestly, I think if Talus had explained all this to her from the start, she probably would have been a little bit more uh, accepting of the whole thing. Um, she might be resistant, you know, she might be... Re- she's a little resistant at first to helping someone who is... Uh, you know, an avowed member of the Kunari religion just because of that past of the Arashok attacking Kirkwall and and having that in, you know, in the re- in recent memory. But again, if, if Talus had just been straightforward with her and said, you know what, I'm not doing, I'm not, and again, she's, even Talus says, I'm not doing this for the Kunari. Like, like I, it, I'm not here under orders or anything, uh, even. Talus is here for really personal reasons that is something that hawk can really connect to this idea that like this is a personal mission that talus has to do to uh you know fix to to in her what you know fix her world fix her situation in some ways and that hawk can really relate to personally so it has really nothing to do with the politics of it or whether hawk agrees with the Kunari or thinks the Kunari are in the right or, you know, is Kunari versus Orle or whatever. She doesn't care about that. She just, you know, Talus, she finds Talus sympathetic and she finds, frankly, she finds the Duke to be completely unsympathetic and kind of a dick. So that's how she's feeling right now, I think. So anyway, that was fun. Let's get out of here. I suppose the good news is with all this extra time I can learn to knit. <laughs> Could you make me a sweater? Maybe. No. <laughs> the first order of business is getting out of here before his grace decides we would taste good in the soup or whatever he has. I don't it. think he would cook and eat us. Any ideas? But Oh, I'm sure the others will be along any minute now. Yeah, so And here we are again for the fourth time. Well, I'm trying. Just, I think. What do we do now? Play diamond back and wait for Hawk to find us? Uh, I guess. <sighs> That's it. All right, all right. I'm officially tired of waiting to be rescued. You could. Why didn't you just do that before? Oh my god. You said your friends were coming. Oh, whatever. Oh, hey, there you are. There you are. Were you hurt? Aw. You're cute, Fenris. Let's get out of here. It's all right. <laughs> so, back through the castle then. There's a better way than fighting through the Duke's entire army. I'll show you. Or we could do both because Here's you can actually talk. Thanks. Around in a locked chest. Then we should head for the caves. That's the way out I planned to take us through originally. Okay. Unless you want to carve your way out through the Duke's army. We'll see. It's up to you which way you want to go, Hawk. I'll help you either way. Well, I appreciate that, Talus. I do. I love that Varric is like, here's your uh, equipment that was sitting in a locked chest. I I unlocked it for you. That's Varric for you, though. He always does that. He's good like that. But yeah, sure, we'll let you go, buddy. Anyway. So we could go back up to the vaults. 
Is there anything in here? You know what? Just unlock all these cells for me, Varric. It's fine. We'll let you out too, honey. Don't don't you worry. Yeah, you're fine. It's don't don't worry about it. I'm just here to steal anything that's not nailed down. I did come to I did come to rob the duke. So to me, it seems like it would be a waste of time not to steal everything I possibly could. Oh, look at this. That's so cute. What do you think is going to happen here, buddy? That's so cute. It's so cute when they're like, oh, we could get it. No, no, you're fine. Let's get my dog in on this too. Might as well. I love it when they do that. That means we'll have an army upon us soon. And look at the bright side. They'd get stuck trying to squeeze between the walls. What the hell? And this array of sculptures is known as scurvy bastards reflecting on modern life. After much reflection, they appear to have come to the conclusion, well, shit. <laughs> Thanks for that commentary, Varric. I appreciate it. That's awesome. Why in the hell would anyone put that? What in the fuck? Okay. Okay. Um, what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna leave this episode here. And then we're gonna go up into the vaults because yeah, we're going into the vaults. There's 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 still more to do, so I'll leave it here. Um, as always, if you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode. Later.